Provinces, Emma, Petit New Deal, Conley, Canada, Le 1er juillet 1867. No, c'était en 1864, ici, au lieu historique national du Canada, Province House. Les politiciens du Haut Canada et du Bas Canada sont venus ici à la conférence de Charlottetown pour présenter leur idée. Hey, look, it's Premier Guz. Good morning, Miss Morrison. Hi, Premier. How are you doing today? Great. You here for a tour? Yes, we're learning about Confederation. Fantastic. Yeah. Premier Guz, is this really where Canada was born? Absolutely. Charlottetown is known as the birthplace of Confederation. And we don't have exact notes from the meeting of 1864, but we do know that George Brown uh, wrote love letters to his wife and outlined some of the details of that meeting. My dearest Anne, having dressed ourselves in the correct style, our two boats were lowered, man of war fashion. We pulled away for shore and landed. Our brother delegates were there before us, five from Nova Scotia, five from New Brunswick, and five from Prince Edward Island. The conference was organized by the appointment of Colonel Gray, Prime Minister of Prince Edward Island, as the president of the convention. Welcome, maritime delegates to Charlottetown to discuss a union of our colonies. Welcome also to the Canadians, our surprise guests, requested to present their idea of a confederation. We met in conference, and Canada opened her batteries. I, Johnny McDonnell, represent Upper Canada, and we can work together to form a great nation. And each province would have its own government to oversee local affairs. And united, we would have one federal government. Je représente le Bas Canada. Les Canadiens veulent participer à la conférence pour proposer une union plus vaste qui regroupe toutes les colonies de l'Amérique du Nord-Britannique. On Saturday, when the conference adjourned, the members were entertained at luncheon in princely style. Cartier and I made eloquent speeches, of course, and whether as a result of our eloquence or the goodness of our champagne, the ice became completely broken, the tongues of the delegates wagged merrily, and the bends of matrimony between all the provinces of British North America having been formally proclaimed. On Wednesday, the conference gave the Canadian delegates their answer. They were unanimous in regarding a federation of the provinces. It was agreed that the conference should stand adjourned. Premier, is it true that it wasn't just business at the conference? It is true, because this is Prince Edward Island. Uh, there were seaside excursions, uh, there was dinners every night, there was even a grand ball, so they had a great time uh, while they were here. Anyway, I've got to head back to work, so good luck with your tour and have a great day. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.